That's really all the time we have for this discussion, but we do have our lightning round discussion, and this is an interesting topic that keeps rearing its head over and over again, <laughs> so I, I kind of wanted to um, see what your thoughts were on it, is that whether black people should get reparations for slavery. Adeline, what do you think? No. No. Come on. I mean, the Civil War ended 150 years ago. The 13th Amendment, you know, uh, uh, abolished slavery. Um, you know, the 15th Amendment made it, uh, gave constitutional right to all blacks to, to be proactive in government. Mm -hmm. By 1870, we already had legislators in, in Congress, in the U.S. Senate. Uh, we, we've had African Americans involved in our government for over 150 years. This is the this is the, the they have had a voice, okay, even eight, in 1870, that was still 50 years before women in 1920 got the right to vote, okay? So uh, discrimination issues of today aside, because obviously I believe that it does still exist, mm -hmm. it is still a, a pervasive problem in, uh, in our many communities that with respect to jobs and, and uh, opportunities for advancement or, or housing and so on and so forth. It, it is alive and well, I'm sure of that, but that, that issue aside, which is being addressed by other federal statutes, the bottom line is, is that, you know, most African Americans today don't even know who their ancestors were who were slaves. I mean, if you can, if they can name one person from their family tree, <laughs> okay, without going to Ancestry.com and, and telling me which one of their, their ancestors was actually a slave and how he was harmed and how 150 years later you have not recovered from that harm and you have somehow been limited then no no not any more than anyone else should receive reparations dr. coffee I'm gonna turn to you now <laughs> not yes. gonna be the angry white one <laughs> exactly I believe that finance financial reparation could be an option who does not like money <laughs> but, but I think that there is one important equation that each one of us need to solve in life and uh, to be successful MS is equal to MS, which means my success is equal to myself. Who else will do it for us? So there are several opportunities out there, and I encourage everybody to take advantage of these opportunities. We can receive money, but we should be able to manage the money. So I think that uh, it's very important that each one of us uh, take advantage of these opportunities and not uh, look uh, backward, but we have to look forward and count on ourselves because nobody else will help us. And I think uh, whatever information or resources we get, if we are educated, we can multiply it and be successful in life. Sure. Well, I think that slaves, well, I guess the descendants of slaves <laughs> should absolutely get reparations, and I'll tell you why. You had the, the people, the Holocaust survivors, and their, their descendants, right? They they got the sl they got reparations from the German government. You had the Japanese who were jailed here during World War II. They got reparations for that, and their family they got reparations. Um, Native Americans who were wiped out, as we know, they get uh, sovereignty over whatever land they have, their reservations. They all and they can build casinos on that, and that's tax free, and and do whatever they want with that money. But somehow the African Americans who were victims of slaves for so many years centuries of, of hardship and, and subhuman treatment have never gotten reparations. And the fact that the federal government, act, and I'm going to get angry black woman label again, but the fact that the federal government said we're going to give you four acres and a mule if you help us overturn slavery tells me that they knew something was owed to those people. And the reason I keep saying them is because, like I mentioned before, my ancestors are not from here. My ancestors are from Honduras, so I'm not getting a dime. It's not even self-interest on my part. But I think that just as, a, as an act of contrition, as an act of we're sorry, then you should absolutely give reparations, even if it's just a token of that. Well, you know, there's the, the we're sorry in government grants, you know, uh, welfare no apology, benefits, though. They, they education. They apologize you know, to the Holocaust take, okay, survivors. They apologize well, they to the Well, they shouldn't get it either. They shouldn't get it either. But they got it. They got it already. Either. It's like, you know, like, <laughs> enough is enough. It was like, stop yeah. it. And, and I'm going to take issue with something that you said. The fact that the 13th Amendment was passed and, and slavery was abolished, that wasn't a give me. It wasn't a, oh, here you are, poor little black slaves are going to set you free now. No, this was a matter of, of, of just 
basic human treatment. This was the belated all men are created equal that was in the Constitution. The result of a civil war, which <laughs> white men also fought. Okay, let's not forget that there plenty of white men gave their lives to so that the African Americans can, can gain their freedom in this country. Plenty of white men have stood there in the civil rights marches and so on and so forth and helped to, to move this issue forward. Give me my four acres and a mule woman. Now, <laughs> <laughs> okay, go get your mule. All, <laughs> that is all the time that we have for the opinion. Thank you so much, everyone out there, for watching. Please send, keep sending us your opinions, your thoughts, your comments. We love to hear from you. Thank <laughs> you.